Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Mr. Techroxy. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at the best nations to play inside Rise of Nation Roblox. Yes, this is a video about Rise of Nations again guys. A lot of you guys have been requesting a video about Rise of Nations, so here, I made one. So without wasting any more time, let's jump straight into the video. Alright guys, so starting off our list, we will be talking about Germany. Yes, Germany again, because Germany is one of the best nations to play in nearly all of the strategy games. From Hearts of Iron 4 to Rise of Nations, Germany is a very good nation to play. And I have many reasons to choose Germany. So first of all, your neighbor. You see all your neighbor around you? This one has 20k, 20k, 30k, Austria has 20k. 20 and 30k except for Poland and France but you don't have to worry about them so start off the game early game there's no potential threat to your country you are free to do anything you want all right so the reason that I said Germany is strong is not just because of its neighbor it's because of Germany itself so you see Germany start off with a strong economy with 2.4 million income you only spent 300,000 so you made a huge profit and you have a good amount of manpower and men in field. So you see you start off with two divisions of 90,000 men each and this totaling up to 180,000 active personnel which means you have 180,000 men in field right off the bat and you have 678,000 manpower in reserve. This is huge and you can just develop city and earn more income. And one more thing is that Germany is not just a regional power. I mean, it is a regional power, but it is quite powerful. So if you want to check your ranking, go here, go ranking. You see, Germany is top 9 in the global scale, just behind Indonesia. This is right off the bat, without developing any city, without making any tanks or aircraft or spawning more infantry. So Germany is powerful. So the next nation on our list here got to be Egypt. So you see Egypt, your surrounding neighbors mostly it's all weak and most importantly you control this canal here so if let's say Italy want to send ship from here to India they do not have to go all the way across Africa here and come to India they can just cross this canal the good thing about us controlling this canal is that if Italy wants to use this and we are at war with Italy we can shut down this thing and Italy cannot move her troops around this canal or from one side to another so let's talk the situation of um, economy and manpower of Egypt so you see Egypt you start off with 150,000 one division of active personnel situated in Cairo the capital and the biggest city of Egypt and you have around 560,000 manpower slot so you can have additional 560,000 just in case you are at war with someone you start off with a very strong economy. Most of the money you income here, like $2 million, most of them is from resources in your country. Alright guys, so the next nation to talk here about is Vietnam. Yes, Vietnam, the small but tough country. History lesson taught us that we shouldn't mess with Vietnam and this is a, a real thing. So you see here, you see Vietnam, you start off with a relatively small economy compared to the country that we just mentioned earlier, which is Germany and Egypt. So you start off with around $300 million and you have 1.1 million income. So it is a small economy, but compared to the nation in its region, which is Southeast Asia, it is only behind Indonesia, which is just south of us. And the one more good thing about Vietnam is to see the eastern the western neighbor of us they're all weak you see Cambodia and Laos they both had 20,000 men and they wouldn't stand a chance if we invade them we also start off with a good manpower 500,000 manpower slots and 130,000 active personnel situated in Ho Chi Minh City southern part of Vietnam so as I mentioned earlier since your neighbor are weak they do not pose that much of a threat uh, unless you're talking about China, which also shares a border with you here. You see, China shares a border with you. And this is your only real threat. Alright guys, so the next country in our list is no other than South Africa. Yes, South Africa, the country that is in the southern tip of Africa. So, 
the good thing about South Africa is that first of all your neighbor literally they're all weaker than you if you get army of these four nations combining compared to you they even have less than you just the army alone and you start off with 120,000 men active duty personnel one division stationed in Johannesburg and you have 445,000 manpower you know reserve manpower and you start off with a this is not actually the real number I've just been in the game for so long that the number keep on increasing and you have 2.4 million income and you spend around 240,000 so this is a big profit for South Africa probably the best thing about South Africa you can see here if you select everything here 66 city good amount of city click on resource you have a big amount of resources especially in gold and diamond you know you can just make electronics and sell it to AI you will make a tons of profit trust me and this is one good thing about Africa and if you want to check the formable you have sadly you only have two formable but this is probably the easiest since you're all of your neighbor are weak then you can just invade them and form this African uh, South African Union but one more is the African Union this one is the big brother you need to invade all of Africa to form this and this is quite hard Alright guys, so the next nation we got here in our list is Turkey. Yes, Turkey, the nation that connects Asia and Europe. So why don't I choose something like Iran and Russia? Well, it's the fact that Turkey, you start off with a very good amount of manpower. You see 730,000 manpower in reserve, that's a lot. Plus 200,000 active personnel, split into two divisions of 100,000 each, stationed in Ankara and Istanbul I can hear the demons call when they do what they do and now I feel like taking off find a place with a view the pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all I just gotta get through I just gotta get through I just gotta get through cause I feel like taking But I know it's not true I wanna put up all my walls Cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off From the rest of the room I know that I can kneel it all If you're patient and soon It can all be worth it All the searching Pain is never really permanent But damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence And it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please You're all too loud, you don't speak quietly Opinions violently thrown across every surface It makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man Life is a nuisance, tie up some loose ends I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution A place like this, it didn't exist, you made it like this So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass half wish I know, it's easier to hide and just to lay low Not everyone in life has got a halo I'm standing in the red inside a payphone Just wanna break, no I'm not gonna give in, take a last shot, Michael J. Win. No, I'm not a robot, I'm in my own skin. Never get lost when thoughts pull you in. I miss the old Jew, we died with the purpose. All the energy around me felt nervous, scared I would pop out fast at the surface. Had to cut it off before you made me worthless. Torn apart, I've been torn as I had a given art, but now I'm thinking smart, I'm keeping up my guard. Europe, 
down to the Black Sea. Russia covered all the land, but um, covering all this land doesn't make it hard to invade. Well, sure, it is hard to invade. Let's say if Japan want to invade, they have to cross this whole chunk of nothingness in order to reach our cities. But um, even though if their city, uh, Russia is mostly just plain. What I mean by plain is that it's just flat land. You cannot do anything. You cannot do anything to defend if someone wants to steamroll through your country. But one more thing I want to point out is that Russia has a big amount of cities. 468 cities, populating around 80 million people. And you start off with five divisions spread out across the country, totaling at 450,000 active personnel and 4 million reserve or manpower slot. So these five divisions of 90,000 totaling up to 450,000 is stationed mostly in the western part of your country. We have no military present in you know eastern part of Russia, but this is good enough. 450,000 is, is huge compared to other countries. And the economy you start off is not this big again because I have been in the game for so long that the money just add up and they just become so big. But basically, if Russia you have 3.5 million income, you can use that to develop your 400 city and you can make way more than that. Plus, Russia you only have two formable. It's the famous Soviet Union. I cannot put that song in the background of the USSR anthem. It's gonna be a copyright. And one more is the Russian Empire. It's not that famous as the Soviet Union, but it's still worth mentioning. So basically, the only difference between these two is that Soviet, you only need this land, and Russian Empire require all the land as required by the Soviet plus Finland. So that's it for Russia. Just know that Russia, the only like potential threat in early game for Russia is China. Since we have no military present in uh, you know our eastern part of the country, China can just use its big amount of manpower and active personnel just steamroll through our country. Another very great thing about Russia is no other than their resources. So you can see big country cover big amount of land and under the ground you know there's a lot of stuff going on so let's check so all the city 468 city go to resource russia basically well russia technically we have everything we can literally make tank right from the start of the early game and also make aircraft because we have just big amount of everything you see here 468 city and we have everything it's just insane russia Alright, so the next nation that we mention here is also pretty obvious that it gotta be somewhere in the list and it's no other than the United States of America. See here, the US is a big democracy fan. See, if you go to ideology, it's democracy. And democracy usually means money and that's what America is good at. We start off with a very big amount of money and I mean to start off as the richest nation on earth, earn the most amount of money on earth from tax, and you also start off with a strong military. So there's no potential threat in early game to you. So you have like um you have a I think you have like a division, yes, a division of 180,000 men, totaling at 1.44 million active personnel. Right off the bat, you have 1.44 million men in your field. 5.6 million men in reserve that's a huge amount and you also have this 905 cities and it gives you a tax income of 24 million oh wait i forgot about alaska two more cities just it, it doesn't count and you can only form like one the north american union you need to invade canada and mexico and it's not a big deal and that's the very good thing about america money manpower military might no other nation can threaten you. Alright, so the best 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 nation to play in Rise of Nations is, well, China. Why? Because China is big, strong, very good economy and just everything is good about China, at least in this game. So you see, China is a very strong economy, you have the largest population on earth, the biggest amount of manpower, and you start off with like 
these a lot of guys, eight units of 230,000 totaling at nearly like 1.84 million active personnel right off the bat. And you don't have a strong neighbor. Sure, Rushchang might look strong, but trust me, with these guys plus these two divisions, you can invade Russia in early game, and Russia is mostly just scared about that. So we start, we got India, which I want to mention in this video, but it's taking too long. And you see all their neighbors basically weak compared to you. And one more thing is that you only have one formable, but if you manage to form this, which is very easy to form, you just need to invade this small island, Taiwan, and this very weak country, Mongolia, and you can form it. And you'll probably be the one of the strongest nation on earth. So you already start as the second strongest nation on earth, just a little bit behind the United States. But if you can, you know, upgrade those military, make more men, make more money. And one more thing I want to mention is that China have a lot of cities. Sure, not as much as Russia or America, but they're very populated. Resource Russia, I mean, China have a very good amount of resources. Sure, not as much as Russia, but China can certainly support itself at war and doing other things. Alright guys, so yeah, that's it for the video. I think this is gonna be part 1, but I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do part 2 or not because this is obviously a very long video. I just wanna go inside the details of, you know, the nation that I mentioned in this list, in this video. So yeah. That's pretty much it for this video and I hope you really enjoy it because you guys will really love my Rise of Nation content. So, you know, as always, thank you, goodbye, and in these hard times, stay safe and play a lot of Rise of Nations. Goodbye guys, see you.